when Justine gets involved in a crime she has no part of. Reggie, you killed somebody, man. You shouldn't have come at me. Her life becomes a living nightmare. I had nothing to do with that. I didn't even know about it. You're in it as much as we are. You were the lookout that stayed in the car. What? Now, she must choose between the two people she loves most. The jewelry store was robbed tonight. You were there? She better not open a big mouth. She's fine, all right? You gotta stop asking me what's wrong every two seconds. Can, can you do that? I need you to trust me. I do trust well, you. Well, then why don't you just leave me alone? We think it might be an inside job, and we think there might be a girl involved. Have you been seeing Brent? There you go again. That's what I just asked you not to. Those phony tats were brilliant, huh? I knew they'd run with that. We came by to check out a car that may have been used in the commission of a crime. We gotta do something about her. I'm not risking going down for murder. A shocking thriller of truth and betrayal. The Diego cut me a deal. And you could too if you just tell him the truth. Jennifer Grant. Honey, were you the girl in the car? Oh, are you crazy? Nina Dobrov. I thought I loved him. Catherine Mary Stewart and Steve Byers. What? I wasn't invited? I'm the brains, Brent. I'm the one who planned the heist. I am not going to prison. Let me out of the car. I never should have brought her, man. I told you that from the start. Let me out. Just stop the car, man. Let her out. Oh, you know we didn't have a choice. <gasps> My daughter's secret. You can't even keep your pathetic little girlfriend from going to the cops.